Racing can be an immensely rewarding experience if you get it right. There's nothing quite like that feeling of satisfaction that you get when you achieve a goal that you've been working really hard towards. Yeah, but to get that sense of satisfaction, you need to do the right training. So here are five killer sessions to get you into top form when you need it. This first session is particularly effective for those wishing to race in criteriums. Now they are races which are characterised by multiple short, sharp sprints. Yeah, so you want to get a good warm-up in and then you've got three intervals to do, each one being 10 minutes long and involving 20 sprints. So you sprint for eight seconds, you go easy for 22, keep repeating that until the 10 minutes is up. Yeah, if you're a beginner, look to have around 10 to 15 minutes rest in between each set. And as you progress and develop and get a little bit stronger, you can shorten those rest sessions and that will help you mimic the demands that you'll face in the race itself. This next session is great for midweek if, like many people, you'll be putting your training in around a full-time job or your studies. Yeah, you want to do a warm-up of at least 10 minutes, more if you feel like you need it, and then slot straight into that sweet spot to go. So if you're using a power meter, 90% roughly of functional threshold power, a heart rate monitor, 95% of functional threshold heart rate. If you're going purely on feel, if you feel blooming difficult, like you can always go a bit harder if you have to. Now, here's the twist, and it's a bit of a painful one. Every five minutes, you need to do a 10 second sprint, almost maximal effort, before then, before then slotting back to your sweet spot effort. Yeah, this is a really, really potent session. It's quite hard mentally. It's the sort of thing you probably only manage to do at most twice a week. However, we both know that it definitely works, so it should get you feeling very strong very quickly. Most races will start and finish with very hard efforts. At the start, when you're trying to get into the breakaway, and at the finish, when you're trying to get a result. So it makes a lot of sense to try and replicate that out on the road in training. Yeah, and that's what this next session will do for you. So after a small warm-up, you want to go straight into 15 minutes of random effort. So pick some points that you're going to see on the side of the road or on the road itself that will trigger a certain response. So it might be that every time you see a blue car, you do a two minute CT effort. Or it might be that every time you see a pedestrian, you do a 10 second sprint. The idea being that you could be doing any kind of effort at any point in that 15 minutes, just as you would do in a race. Yeah, then for the next part of the session or the mid part of the session, anything from between one and three hours, just ride steady. And then for the last 15 minutes of the session, do some more random efforts, just like you did at the start. And then finish off the training session with a nice 10 minute cool down. Oh, there's a tree, that's a 10 second effort. It's finished. This next session is one that my former coach, Hunter Allen, used to get me to do a few times during the season. So you want to get in a good warm up of 15 to 20 minutes, and within that time, do three high cadence drills for one minute, without too much power through the pedals, just to get your legs going. Yeah, and then it's time to start what he called race winning intervals. So it was 30 seconds, almost flat out effort, followed by three minutes riding at your FTP, or the kind of tempo you'd ride a 40 kilometer time trial. Then, the sting in the tail, a 10 second flat out sprint. Yeah, they are very hard, but what they do is replicate the sort of situation you could be in at the end of the race. When you want to attack the group you're in with one or two other riders, maintain your advantage for the group that you've left behind, and then sprint, hopefully to victory, at the finish. Now Dan, following doing those intervals, did you actually win any races? Uh, no, no, but that's not completely the point. The point was I was closer to winning than I was before I did those interviews. Oh, so you mean you actually finished some races then? Yeah, I didn't pull out as much in races. Fast group rides are a fantastic way of preparing you for a race because not only will you gradually get used to going fast, which is of course very important, but you'll also get more comfortable at riding closer to the wheels in front of you, at learning where you can best save energy out of the wind, plus a whole host of other vital skills as well. Yeah, if there's a fast group ride near you, try and join them uh, once or twice a week. And if there isn't a fast group 
near where you live. Try and organise one yourself. But the closer the abilities of the riders within the group, the better the sessions will be. Yeah, and this session is a cracker. So get in a good warm up and then you're going to do four lots of 10 minutes efforts in a pace line. Bit and bit, through and off, however you call it back where you are. Effectively keeping the pace and the speed nice and high while sharing the workload on the front. Then, this is key, at the end of the 10 minutes, two riders from the group make an attack. The other riders in the group count to 15 and then try to chase them down. Session comes to an end, either when the two attackers are caught or two minutes after they've made their attack, whichever comes sooner. Making sure you do about five minutes of easy riding between each one. Sounds brutal. Oh, it is. So there are five great sessions to help you be your best for your next road race. And we'd love to see how you get on. So let us know in the comments section below. Meanwhile, we've got some more relevant videos for you to watch right now. So just up there is our Yo, video Facebook. on how to ride yes. in a group. And just down there is a complete playlist of race smart videos, which will help you with all sorts of race craft. I want to subscribe. Yep. We've got a little box in the middle now, isn't it? There. Indeed. Click on that. It's free. And uh, we will send you all emails when we do a new video. And don't forget to like and share our videos as well.